Thank you, awesome YouTubers. Everyone, please check these guys out. Now, what I'm here to talk about today is something that I don't normally do, so this I didn't realize what was happening. So if you, here I've uh, supported this model only 80% of the way, by the way. This is just to show you what goes on in Chitterbox, something really weird that I discovered. So you see it's on the base plate. Everything's going to print out perfectly if I finish it. But now I'm going to go and save this. You can't see it on my screen. I'm saving it as an STL. I'm then going to uh, delete all this and load it back in as the saved STL. And we're going to see what happens. This was pretty amazing to me because I had a failure, really bad failure, where everything was just stuck to the to the FEP. It happened to me three times in a row before I realized what was going on. I, I, I thought, wow, I'm having some really weird failure here. I thought maybe something was wrong with my resin, my room temperature, anything, until I discovered this. So I'm loading back in the STL file. Okay, looks great. It come, you know, It's pre-supported effectively because I loaded in what I'd saved as an STL file. And then after the failures, I look closer and look. When it loads in, it's loading in like, I don't know, a tenth of a millimeter above the build plate. See the little space there? So that means when I go to print, of course it was sticking to the FEP because it's trying to print in the air. It's not, it's not touching the build plate. So I discovered that when you save, or at least for me, and I don't know what caused this or if this happens to other people, but me, look here, this is above the plate. So me saving it as an STL and then loading it back in somehow moved it up off the build plate literally like 0.001 millimeters. So this was crazy. And so now I realized why I had three failures in a row after I, you know, I printed 100 prints without any failures is because this model that I loaded back in as an STL was not touching the build plate. So this, this might have happened to a bunch of you uh, and maybe people never even realized what happened at all. So when I do this now, I load back in an STL I immediately drop down, look at this, and, and now it's consistent. It's always a little above the plate. So I just go in, and then on the on the move button, I just go and drop it down like 0.1 millimeters till I see that I'm actually touching the build plate or even slightly below it. So you just go negative, say, 0.1. See, now it's dropped down slightly below the build plate. So that means whatever's below the build plate won't print, that's fine. But now at least I'm, I'm assured that my model is touching the build plate and it won't fail. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up in case you're encountering this type of failure, which would drove me insane until I figured it out. And, and like I said, it took a couple of failures before I realized, wait, I don't get failures like this. It must be something else. And I went back in and, and really studied the model in the slicer. So anyway, hope you learned something. Hope that helps you guys. Hope it prevents a failure. Please like, please subscribe. Please check out my other videos. Thanks.